passionate. I'm going to get you cleared of this crime, you said. It was weird. I never heard you have so much passion during an investigation. You are usually so monotone. I'm usually an emotional mess. Unless you are yelling at Maya, you are usually a very monotone person during the investigations. And I then, don't know what you were talking and about. And then during trials, your voice is way too dramatic, and it's really weird. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, how come you didn't realize that that wasn't me? I guess looking back now, it was a little strange. Only a little? Well, okay, so you were a bit taller than normal, and you looked a bit shady, like Maya. Hey! Oh, and then the guy looked nothing like me, then? But he had your spiky hair and blue suit. That's all it takes for someone to in imitate me? How about everyone else in the courtroom, like the judge and the observers? Uh, didn't they realize he was an imposter? Everyone had these big question marks on their faces. <laughs> it was strange. They all just paint, just in unison, took out paint and started painting question marks on their faces. But it seemed like no one wanted to say anything, sir. This case just keeps getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> Mr. Wright, something. <laughs> mm. uh. Oh, retrial, probably. Oh. Um, probably the court ruled in absence of a genuine defense attorney. We should be able to get it. Uh, Mr. Wright, do you think I we'll win next time, sir? I will. My life has been a full course meal of bad luck, complete with defeat for dessert. Since I was six I months old and I fell from the ninth floor of my apartment building, I have been hit by all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick from all sorts of foods, failed at almost every test I have taken, experienced almost every kind of disaster. I even landed a phony lawyer when I had the misfortune of being accused of murder. But I will survive because Maggie Bird always lives to fight another day. And Maggie one Bird, day I'll, I'll find it. Just wait and see, sir. I'll find that one single moment of good luck. Maggie Bird uh, also talks to the third person. Xin Ehip is, e is really gonna pay for this. What do you think of the name, Nick? It's very creative. But do, do you realize what I did? Uh, you're speaking another language. No. You're not? Nope. Oh, I don't know what's going on. It's Phoenix spelled backwards. I didn't spell the word backwards. What's wrong with you? <laughs> okay. Sure. Uh, we need to have him pay. We'll find him. Don't you worry. Pay we'll... 50... Wait, pay? Pay for what? 50 cents for a map? Uh, maybe. We'll get Sin E. E. Off for you. Thank you. Oh, I'll tell you where Tress Bien is then. Yes, alright. The murder. Yes, rest. sir. <laughs> where? <laughs> Wait. No, it is not a murder restaurant, sir. There has been one murder only. Don't worry. Some weirdo wanted to rename the hotel the Murder Hotel. <laughs> Yes, sir. When you go, please tell Mr. Armstrong I said hi. 
Sure. All right, Nick. Let's go check out the restaurant and its food. No food. Oh, but I want food. Yes. I'm hungry, Nick. No, you're not. Oh. I I have proof that you're not hungry. What? I have evidence. That is not true. I know it's not true. Good job, but do you have proof wow. that I'm lying? Look at this place. Look, more like smell. What's with that suffocating scent? The flowers. Then again, girls like that kind of stuff, right? Actually, I'm not all that into it. Don't say anything, Nick. Into what? Uh, What's nothing. paying attention? Uh, no one's coming to see us. Maybe there's no one here? <clears throat> Don't be silly, Maya. This is a restaurant. It's open for business. I don't believe it. There really isn't anyone here. Perfect. Let's get intrusive. If there's no one here, we can take everything we want. Maya, the theft. <laughs> Look, it's one of those magical boxes that spits out money. You know you're the only person who would ever describe a cash register that way. <laughs> I just wanted to show you that one piece of dialogue besides that. It's a rack full of fashion magazines, and they're all in French. Why would it, why don't you try wearing something more she like Maya? Yeah, huh? Yeah, I guess I could. I'm always in my acolyte clothes, aren't I? It'd be fun to wear normal clothes every now and then. But then again... Hmm. Okay, go. Mm, there's something stuck behind this rack. Looks like a sports paper to me. Ew. Hey, and look at this. Someone scribbled a little doodle on one of the pages. Wow. <coughs> MC Bummer. And one, two, three, four, five zeros. A hundred thousand dollars? Maybe? Why is it crossed out? MC Beamer. Uh, is that supposed to be. And it's not labeled. This is why we need to label our final answers. What? And only your final answers. None of this. Oh, you need to keep your units throughout the entire equation. So if you have a unit that's just labeled as S, you think that it says 5. And then you're confused as to why your answer got so messed up. And you realize, wait a minute, that was an S. Maya, you seem really salty about math. Would you like to talk about why you are so salty about math? Because you should not have to keep your units well throughout your entire work because that's dumb. As long as you label your answer. Anyways. This paper is from December 3rd. This paper is from the day of the poison. Ooh, what? Yep, gotta be a clue. Paper. Find out more about it. Got it. Okay. Maya, this paper is very important. Yeah? Why are we stealing it from the restaurant, Nick? Uh, it's important. It's a vital piece of evidence, Maya. What? No, it can't be. It's, it's... 
We're stealing the sports paper from the restaurant, but I guess it's fine when you do it. Oh, no, it, it's fine because it's sports. Oh, it's sports paper. What are you two arguing about? We're arguing about the fact that this is an important piece of evidence and Maya's being all like, eh, no, no. No, I was mocking you. <gasps> How dare you. Obviously, oh. it's important. It's just a matter of, like, when... How dare you point out... How dare you point out something that's so blatantly obvious. I was mocking you, mocking me. What? <laughs> you were doing a terrible job of it. I didn't feel mocked, I just felt like you were being stupid, and it was actually... It seemed That's more right point. than... That was the point anyway, Maya. That you're stupid. I never said that. <laughs> but you never didn't say it. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. No one ever said you were smart, but you are smart. Thank you. Now someone has said it. You're welcome. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Did Gustav Brown manage to defend his heavyweight title? Sorry, Maggie. This paper is a month old. It, it, it is the number of the day of the murder. And uh, Gutson got knocked out yesterday, I'm afraid. Oh, no. I found this paper in the magazine rack. At Trespian? Really? That's strange. Trespian doesn't get newspapers. Mr. Armstrong said he's not really fond of them. Then maybe one of the customers left it behind? Sure. Anyway, uh, I want to I do, to, to take a look at what is scribbled. Aha! Uh -huh. That's it, sir. MC Bomber. That was the name that was written on the CD. <coughs> Just as I thought. This is of vital importance. I guess it wasn't MC Screwdriver after all, huh? No, Maya. That is a really silly name. So that one hundred thousand must be dollars must be a down payment for a record deal, deal right? If someone gave me one hundred thousand dollars, I'd sing for sure. Uh, the Master of Crane, or uh, the Spirit Song, or even Maya's theme. Maya, M Maya, I would not suggest becoming a singer unless you can pay for health insurance for all the people who listen to it. That was mean, Nick. You don't you never even hope anything. Oh, good point. <laughs> now I'm sad. Oh great, now I have now I have to now I have to pay for burgers. Yes, you do. But Maya, you really need to stop eating burgers and make yourself happy. It's a problem. You still have to buy me burgers. Wait, what happened to your New Year's resolution that you said you were going to do four year four that you said that you were going to do four days before and you said you were gonna do it next year that you were going to reduce the number of burgers you ate by half. Yes, that means I'm going to need two times as many burgers. Oh. Yes, because dividing by um, a fraction is multiplication. Yes. Because that makes a lot of sense! See, you're catching on to math, Nick. Huh? You're catching on to math, Nick. Makes me mad! Everything makes you mad that I try to tell you. Like, 
just... who in the world was the genius who thought it was a good idea to put letters and numbers and call it algebra? Um, someone. Well, whoever that someone is, I want to make them not dead, tell them I don't like them, and then reverse the not deadness. That's just because you suck at algebra, Nick. So if this was a sample, sample CD and the victim was table, that means the newspaper must have belonged to the victim. You're right. So the victim left this behind. I think we better step up the investigation, don't you, Nick? She's frozen. Maggie's frozen. Yeah. <laughs> Bonjour, welcome. <laughs> I don't know how to accent. <laughs> Clearly. Welcome to restaurant. Yay. <laughs> oh, hello. Whoa. What happened to Maya? She's she's frozen, Steph. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Whatever that says. Just try and pronounce it. Well, <laughs> uh, welcome to the restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> huh? I don't, don't, Wait, this guy is talking. B Avenue. Oh no! <laughs> More words I don't know how to pronounce. Petite tulip. <laughs> what does that even mean? This is going to be a long trial. Huh? Me? Oh, look at these days! You're so stupid! <laughs> Kitchen rejected by a kitten, not kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Mother, you are petite, right? No! Uh, this is hey. gonna be a long episode. Hey! My... You my... need this. <laughs> Whatever this my is. My mom didn't leave because of. Me and Mia, or just me in general, she left because of that stupid... I was about to say that stupid white guy, but that sounds like it has to do with his race. It's nothing that... That's his name! Uh. Hey, bad boy it's a recommendation. <laughs> I, this is gonna take too long if I try to read every one of these words because it's just you <laughs> think I need what? I uh, me me just had a couple of drops of this and bath water and yeah, you're done. You die. <laughs> This guy apparently has no idea how to do his own accent. Here, would you like me to try to voice him? Please do, otherwise you're <laughs> gonna be here forever. <laughs> yeah. Vivi, just add a couple of drops of this mixture to the bath water and voila. 
It Vesuve your body and your mind. Your mind. Blech. It's simply fantastic. Now she sounds like some sort of weird cross between the voice of Von Karma that, <laughs> and, and that weird, uh, what is that, weird Wellington guy. <laughs> like that. Uh, really? And for La Monsieur. What? Why? Look at that face. Like a puppy rejected by life itself. You are fatigued, none. For you, monsieur, I recommend this. Oil of bergamot. And maybe a hint of wee-wee. <laughs> Excuse me? I don't know why your why your partner is laughing so much. All I said is you would need a little bit of VV. Oh wait, I see it now. I don't have to go to the bathroom. And <laughs> like, apparently you need to put some more VV in your bath. I don't can do it. <laughs> bad. It's bad. Why? It's gross. I use a toilet for that. Thank you. A toilet that he rips out of the ground and brings into the living room. Or not the living room, just the office. Every day to clean it. Sorry. It's my fault that the bathroom is one foot by one foot and I have no room to clean the toilet. Um... Yes, I know. That's why I've been teaching it to you. All you taught me is that one plus one equals two, Maya. Oof. Well, the other day when I asked you, you said seven, so at least you're making some progress. Uh, so I guess I'll do the outro alone. Uh, so thanks for well, I have before, but thanks for watching, Pharaoh, Feral.